today we are making cream style corn. I've already done some, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it here. First thing that you're going to do is split the kernel. So you're going to run your knife down each row and split it in half. Sometimes people do this more than once and split it twice. If it's rather large, you can do it, but one is enough. One time is enough. I'm using, uh, I don't know the proper name for this knife, but it's long, skinny, and it's flexible. I think it's like a deboning knife. Um, I like it because it's long and skinny and flexible. Uh, there may be better knives for this, um, for, for cutting off corn, but that's what I'm using. This is a messy uh, job, so I'm outside. That way I don't have to worry about cleaning my floors. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the kernels. Um, I'm not digging down deep. I'm basically just cutting off the top. In this, uh, we don't want to cut the cob into our corn. So you'll use like a sawing motion and just run it down the corn getting just the top third, top half of the corn. And we'll come back for the rest in a minute. So as you can see, there's still a lot of corn there. Um, and that's what it's supposed to look like. Very important, don't dig too deep in with your knife because then you'll have a cob into your corn and I'm sure that's not gonna taste very good. So I'm kind of just gently running it down using the sawing motion. Okay, so now the last step is you're gonna use the back of your knife and apply pretty firm pressure and get the rest of that. And this is the really messy part, it goes everywhere. But you're getting the rest of the corn, you're getting the, uh, the juices from the corn, which is your starch, and which will provide the creaminess and thicken your corn later on. And then when you're finished, it should look very empty like that. So I'm gonna do it again. First, split each row. And it is hitting me in the face. Goodness, this one is really particularly Juicy, oh my gosh, it's hitting me in the face almost every time. But that's good, it'll make a good cream style corn. You definitely don't want dry corn. Can't be very creamy if it's dry. Okay, I've got them all split. Using the sawing motion, coming down. Definitely advise doing this outside. Unless you just blend them off your floor when you're done. 